Hello and welcome to the podcast. This minicast is brought to you by Downtime. Downtime, where you can choose to do something or take a nap. This episode is covering education in general. Remember now, I'm not an educator. I'm only a mail carrier. Though I don't believe that has any relevance in what I'm about to say. I don't know if this is more of a rant or if it has any bearing in the real world. In any case, buckle up, motherfuckers. Here we go. Do you remember in school, way back when, you'd be taught that knowledge equals power? The more you learned about a subject, the better off you would be. The wiser decisions you'd be able to make on that subject, and in turn, the better decisions you'd be able to make in all aspects of life. You would know how to think critically and base your decisions on reason and evidence rather than blind acceptance to unproven hearsay fact muddled together with decisions on emotion. A learned response to a problem lessens damage in the future. Imagine for the time being that NASA, after the Apollo 1 shuttle fire, learned nothing and kept using a pure oxygen atmosphere in the capsule. Repeated failures in carrying degrees uh, at varying times. Without an increase in knowledge, we'd be stuck at exploding people and burning them alive in a metal room. But we learned... We took the applied evidence, as unfortunate as it was to learn at the expense of lives. Nonetheless, we know not to make the same mistake. But these are scientists, you say. They are actual rocket scientists. However, everyone is a scientist, or, at the most basic, make scientific claims and theories, test them based upon evidence they have, read about, or have experienced. You will learn by experience, and if you choose not to learn or make decisions based on evidence that is testable and deemed true, yet has not much of a basis in reality, then you are holding yourself back. Valid, true education doesn't care what you believe. There will always be a true statement with reason to back it up, the claim. Do not be willfully ignorant. Learn. Be active in wanting to learn and gain more reputable knowledge. The more knowledgeable you are, the better off you will be. It shouldn't need to be said, but the Nobel Prize winner is more educated than the person who chose not to graduate high school. We should, as a country, provide our public a mandatory course on how to think. How to think critically about the problems we face in our lives and problems of the world. We should teach our children philosophy, understand questions further than their intention was meant understand life, the human condition, and what it means to be human. Philosophy, I believe, will help the public broaden their thoughts on their lives and the decisions they make, short-term and long-term. A more intelligent public is a better nation. We need our nation to be a reachable pillar of success, not monetarily, but success in terms of education, societal standards, and humanity. Money, the evil it can cause, is always second to everything. It should be, but rarely is. I've mentioned this before, where my rose-colored glasses get put on. A utopia where everyone provides for everyone. An insurance policy for society. You hope you don't need it, but if you do, you're glad it's there. If the uneducated child could have been the person to discover how to eradicate brain tumors or invent the most economical, environmentally friendly, rechargeable battery, which would help solve energy problems across the globe, we should give them the resources to learn, to grow, to become more intelligent. And yet we don't. Our resources are squandered not on creating a better society through education, Education, intelligence, knowledge, science. They are all the insurance policy for our future. Providing children now with the ability to have a useful education will have an immense positive impact on our future as a country. A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit. In our society, we have such a mentality for, I've got mine, so fuck you. We must, as a people, come together and sacrifice some of our comfort for the future to give us a thriving society, nation, and world. We gain everything when we are educated. 
and we lose everything when we are not. Let us not clamor and fight against one another, but learn, teach, and educate. The more we know, the less we lose. Now, this isn't a charity, but there is a lot of good information on his YouTube channel. Uh, he has a lot of background in his field. It's very informational. A website on top of the channel. And is open to talking to his fans throughout social media. Now, this doesn't necessarily have anything to do, per se, with uh, helping educate. But in one field, it does. He goes by Eric and has two channels available. Eric the Car Guy and ETCG1. His first channel is more about tearing down, fixing, replacing, and creating a better vehicle. His ETCG1 is a little more loose, less informational on each vehicle, but more like a classroom and vlog. Lots of great information, and to top it off, he's funny. He has a Patreon that you can choose to donate if you find his channels useful, and I suggest you do. Now, thank you for listening to this minicast. As always, you can find us on Twitter at A Topic A Month, the same on Facebook, Instagram, and at gmail.com, if you'd like to write an email. We're nearly everywhere to download iTunes, Stitcher, and our host site, Podbean. If you'd like to give us a rating on iTunes, please do. It's pretty quiet over there. Thank you again, and have a good night.